The Hospice of the Big Country here in Abilene opened their doors to Big Country veterans tonight, offering a free meal, good company, and a hearty thanks for all they have done in service of our freedom. KRBC's Noah McKinney brings us a look at tonight's festivities as we say thank you to all those who serve. Good evening and welcome to the West Texas Rehab's Hospice of the Big Country's annual We Honor Veterans Dinner. It is our great pleasure to have you here tonight. Each year, Hospice of the Big Country takes time to bring Big Country vets together and thank them for their service. Some of us are pretty old. We served a long time ago. Edward Waite is a hospice volunteer. I'm basically here to volunteer to serve. But he also served in the U.S. Air Force just before the nation got involved in the Vietnam War. Some of them served in very harrowing experiences, though I did not. Although he didn't deploy in any conflict, his sacrifice has not gone unseen. That is because each of you chose to step up and make that difference. Hospice Director Angie Lane says while past years have focused on veterans of specific conflicts, this year is in honor of all veterans that offered themselves in the name of freedom. While our veterans are still here, let's remember them, let's thank them, let's uh, show them love and just give them an evening of recognition. Someone said that a veteran is somebody who uh, gave the country a blank check and it could cost up to their life. Now, mine didn't get cashed in and I'm grateful for that. While Waite says he doesn't feel he might be as deserving as others of all that gratitude, just the strength to write that check is enough to make any serviceman or woman worthy of tonight's recognition. We appreciate uh, all of the sacrifices, that not only the veterans, but uh, their families have made through the years. And with each passing year, we lose more and more of these great men and women, which is why Hospice of the Big Country is taking time now to show them just how thankful we are, no matter how big or small their sacrifice. You are appreciated, you are loved, and your service matter. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Hospice of the Big Country has many clients that are former servicemen and women. Their staff seeing our veterans through their final weeks, days, and hours. Director Angie Lane saying if you feel the urge to show your gratitude to these brave souls, there's no time like the present.